Hi, this is example number one of section 17.2. So we have here a car that is a, has two wheels and we are asked to neglect the size of the wheel. Uh, and uh, we are given with the position of the center of mass and one force of 100 Newton is applied with a specific direction. The theta angle is given by that triangle three, four, five. And we were asked to find the acceleration of the center of mass and the normal reaction of each of the wheels. So what do we do here, the solution? The first thing that we always do is the free body diagram of our system. So I'm going to do a, a, a little bit a simplified version of our system, right? We have two wheels right here and a center of mass right here. And I have my applied force and I have the two normals accelerate. Normal in A, let's call this wheel A and this wheel B and I have a normal in B. Of course I have the weight, they, they tell us that the weight is um, the total mass I did not write it here, but the total mass is 100 gram, kilograms. So we have our weight, which will be 100 times the gravity. So that's our free body diagram, and we will make it equal to our kinetic diagram. So the kinetic diagram will be very similar And we only have one acceleration since this is not allowed to move in the vertical direction or rotate. We only have one kinetic force, which is mass times the acceleration in x direction. This is our kinetic diagram. Now that we have our free body diagram and our kinetic diagram, we can apply our equations of motion. we add forces in X and we see that the only component that we have here is our X component of this applied force and as we see here is fourth fifth hundred four fifth equals to my mass times acceleration and in this case I have the mass times the acceleration. So from here we can get the second question that we are asked the acceleration in X direction will be a 0.8 over second square, right? With those two go away and this is just for, for, for fit which is 0 0.8. Well actually they go away not because they are the same variable but they have the same because the, the mass, let me write here, the, let me, well, the mass, you know that the mass is 100 kilograms and for coincidence, the mass and the force has the same magnitude but different units. But in any case, I can, uh, this 100 in both sides of the equations go away. So then we have to add forces in one direction. And what do we have in y direction? We have Na plus Nb. It's very important to, to notice that our free body diagram was very simple and it's because we do not have any friction either. So this floor was smooth and said that we don't have any friction. We could have friction as well. And in this case, the friction will affect our acceleration. So in the y direction, we have Na and B, then negative the weight, and negative the y component of our applied force, which will be 100 three fifth. And since we do not have any accelerations in the y direction in our kinetic diagram, this is equals to zero. So this gives us our one equation, but it has two unknowns. So the weight is 100 times 9.8, and we added that force that this is equals to 1004 one newtons. So we have this first equation that we'll need a second equation to be able to find those two variables and then we take moment. We can take moment in any point we liked and since we do not have rotation in our system, the best 
point to take moment about is g because if we take any other moment in any other point we will have to take the 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 moment of our acceleration but if we take moment in g that acceleration is not do any any moment that moment in g will be equals to zero so that zero because we don't have any rotation of the center of mass so our external forces so we have to take into consideration all the distance to be able to take our moment and we see here that this is 0 0.4 so it will be negative 0 0.4 and a positive 0 0.6 and b the weight pass through the center of mass so the weight doesn't do any any moment and then we will decompose this force and slide it to the perpendicular distance so for the x component which is 4 fifth it will be in negative 100 times 4 fifth and the distance is equals to 1.2 minus 0 0.5 1.2 minus 0 0.5 and we have to take into consideration also, this is a negative, and also the moment uh, done by the y component, right, which will be equals to 100 times 3 fifths, and that distance is 0 0.7, and that's equal to 0. We have one additional, one additional equation, and which the unknown is the same to unknown, so we have one system of equation of two with two unknowns so solving one and two we get the solution and a is equals to 430 newtons and in b oh sorry no, that's in b in b a is equals to 611 newtons. Please solve it yourself to practice, but you should be very uh, comfortable taking moments of forces because that we did that in statics very often, right? So, this is the solution for this problem.